Washington defeated Republican Congresswoman Barbara Comstock in one of the first races called. It's one of more than two dozen seats flipped in yesterday's midterm elections that helped Democrats take back the House. Today is more than about Democrats and Republicans. It's about restoring the Constitution's checks and balances to the Trump administration. Moderate suburban districts helped push Democrats over the edge, like in the Texas 7th, where Lizzie Fletcher defeated incumbent John Culberson. We have the power here to change the direction of our country, and that is what we are doing right now with this election. Republicans diminish the blue wave by increasing their majority in the Senate. We've got to prove why our way of thinking, why what works in the state of Indiana is going to work for the rest of America. Despite the loss of the House, President Trump tweeted, tremendous success tonight. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Here in Nevada, one of the biggest races is who will replace outgoing Republican Governor Brian Sandoval. Tough battle, but in the end, Democrat Steve Sisolak won. We do have Orko Mana taking a closer look at the breakdown of that particular race. Well, Kirsten and John, it's no doubt the race for Nevada governor was an important one to watch last night, and history was made. Our state will have its first Democratic governor in nearly 20 years. Clark County Commission Chair Steve Sisolak defeated Attorney General Adam Laxalt. We need to point out that this graphic and all of our election graphics, the numbers are correct, even though we are not getting the proper precinct percentage reports from the Secretary of State's office. During his victory speech, Sisolak said he will work to bring together the people of Nevada and talk to a lot about the importance of unity. We won't be divided by partisan politics in Washington. We will not be divided by North versus South, rural or urban. We will be one Nevada working together, and that starts right now. Adam Laxalt was obviously not happy with the result, especially with how close recent polling numbers showed the two candidates to be. Despite the loss, he was happy with the way his campaign team worked together. We went right to work from day one. And we took absolutely nothing for granted. We worked hard recruiting volunteers and supporters like you all. We built the largest grassroots army the state has ever seen, and we could be proud of that. Again, with Sisolak's victory, Nevada will have its first Democratic governor in 20 years. Sisolak has said his top priority will be improving the state's education system. Back to you. Orko, thank you.